So the business problem that Radically Simple IT is designed to solve, are there are a number of them, in fact. The first of them is uh, what I would call competitive leveling. The idea is if everybody has got the same system and it's something that you can't particularly change very much, then you're going to get minimal competitive advantage from something like that. So the first one is creating a distinctive advantage. That's the first business problem. The second business problem is the one of the that uh, the one of getting projects delivering enough value, and sometimes this is pretty difficult. The systems are very expensive uh, in themselves, and as well as that, the way that they're put into companies uh, it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really work very well. And we've seen this in lots of examples of this installations failing. The final thing that I think is uh, is important to remember for um, a lot of business people is that is this idea that um, you what you'd really want as business models change over time is you need IT that changes with that business model, and the business drives the IT, and the IT is able to catch up. Um, so I think it's 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 this problem that business has become progressively more dynamic, and we can no longer tolerate static IT systems that cement you into your old way of doing things. The path-based approach to uh, to building uh, business architectures assumes that the technology uh, is going to change rapidly over time, as are the business needs. Um, the, the primary idea behind the path-based approach is that when you build a system, you don't build it to deliver functionality as the customer specifies it exactly, uh, whether it's you know, particularly internal customers. What you do is you build a system that anticipates it's going to have to improve in the future. So you build an improvement platform, unless it's like a platform for a rocket ship. What you're doing is you're building a place from which you can continuously improve. So this isn't just a matter of kind of extreme programming and, and kind of going around in rapid cycles. This is an ongoing evolution of the business model that IT fuels and supports as it goes along. The reason that it's a better way uh, is that what it allows you to do is accept the fundamental truth that business is going to be different than you thought it was going to be. Um, a lot of these uh, systems assume that business exists in a, a static world, and they're designed to automate a static world. For some businesses, that's okay. They're in a static world. Um, but for an increasing number of businesses, that's, that's not true. Uh, they're in a rapidly moving world where business models change all the time. And they're in places that you don't expect, necessarily. If it's rapidly changeable, it can deliver on new business model ideas, which is the traditional way. IT follows the business. But as well as that, there are some really cool things that you can do. New technologies become available, the IT folks know about them, and can offer them to the business leaders and say, look at this opportunity we've got with this great new technology. And because we've got the ability to at least do rapid experiments with this stuff, the business leaders can see the value that IT is going to deliver. So there's two mechanisms. One is the business leaders have a business model and IT helps deliver on that. And the other thing is IT has got a set of capabilities that we can offer to the business leaders to exploit to their competitive advantage.